What began in the winter of 1910-1911 with 33 boats built in New York and Massachusetts is now a worldwide class of over 8,000 star boats. Teams from the United States and 10 other countries sailing this weekend to celebrate the history of the star class and to launch the second century of racing. Today, Steep Chop made the first race interesting. Wind from the east-southeast, 10 to 20 miles per hour, kept some boats off the water, sent some back early, and caused damage to more than one mast. Competition thrived, though, even as the wind diminished in race two. Mark Reynolds and Hal Hanel are racing this weekend, two names in star class synonymous with winning. Add to that Mendelblatt, Ornios, and Smith. Yeah, it's pretty neat to uh, to be able to you know hang with you know the kids and and uh, have them uh, get a little excited about sailing because I mean it was the same way when I was their age and I was hanging around Dennis Connor and and uh, Malin Burnham, Lowell North, those guys, and so I uh, you know I like it's great to see some of these young kids coming up. Uh, uh, Tomas uh, Hornos is one of them that's sailing here that uh, is doing really well. Uh, he was quite a bit faster than we were today. I think I was able to get a little wind shift and stay ahead of him, but it's not easy. Celebrating the star, it's fast, it's physical, and once you sail it, you are hooked. See, in this regard, uh, Mark Mendelblad is, is dominating, and, and he is the best in the uh, United States. He's currently winning our Olympic trials. Uh, but these guys, he came from the laser, and it takes a while. I mean, you don't usually jump in and win your first regatta. I was talking to Bobby Lippincott last night. He's a third generation star sailor. And he got in the star and he's like, no more 420s for me. I'm going star boat sailing. So what if the design is 100 years old? A lot of people look at it, well, it's a 100 year old boat. How cool can something be that's 100 years old? But it's evolved over time. And it's uh, obviously a breakthrough design. And it's, uh, it's great. And, and, but you really have to get out and sail and race against these guys to realize that uh, wow, th there's something here that uh, is pretty cool. And it's not just the boat and bloodline at the heart of a champion. That comes from within. And to have that drive, you know, hate, hating to lose. I, I probably don't, you know, I, I obviously enjoy winning, but I, uh, hating losing probably drives me more than loving winning. Choppy conditions may again play a role in the water tomorrow and earlier day on the water, of course, offshore competition gives way to onshore camaraderie. Game faces are gone until tomorrow's gun.